In this video, I'm going to go over how I had the AI inside of Cursor's code editor create a GUI post editor thing for me here, where all that's happening here is this form is saving data into a JSON file. There's no database. This is only going to work when I'm developing locally, but this data file will be available when the site's built and when it's actually out on the internet. So this is only showing you the post manager. You would then import this JSON file onto a different page and display the list of posts however you want. This is just the manager part of it so that you don't have to edit the JSON directly. Normally when I do this, it'd be an object. It uh, turns out JSON is a lot easier to write to disk for the AI the way it was doing it. I don't even want to know what it'd be like if I tried to do it. So right now all I have is a blank Next.js project. I told, it to, I told the AI to make a little header nav thing and this is what it gave me. I got a home and a post manager page. On most of my websites I have data that I want to display in a repetitive manner like a post or a FAQ where it's the same thing over and over again. And when I used to use Jekyll, I would use a data file to do that. And it's just a lot easier. You're not going to want to write all the HTML over and over again. But I also don't want to have a database. I just want the information stored locally. So I, I've been playing around lately with the, asking the AI to make me a GUI for a JSON file that I store locally. So I'm in Cursor's code editor. This is basically VS Code, but with Cursor's AI built into it. And I've already made the files that I know I'm going to need. So I have a post.json file. And in here, all I'm going to have is opening, closing, and bra brackets. Uh, I also have a post manager page. That's what page we're on here. And then I know it's going to want these other files. So I've already made them in advance, so it'll go a little bit quicker. I also have a script here or a a prompt of what I want it to do. And I've, I've already done this a few times. So in the last time I did it, I asked it to rewrite my prompt so we could skip a bunch of the problems we had earlier. And this is what it has. And I've edited a little bit since then. Uh, and I am just going to copy this and paste it into the chat. And basically all I'm telling it is that I have a JSON file that I want to be able to read and write data from it from, and I want it to create a GUI where it will allow me to do, uh, create an, a post, update it, edit it and delete it as needed. And let's press enter and see what it says. All right. So here it wants to, this is going to be the main, page. I think it already knows that I have this page open and that I'm on it. It's going to be this page. There's an apply link here. I'm going to click apply and it's going to apply this code and sort of merge it in with what I already had. And once over here, once it's done, I'm going to click accept over here. And the thing I keep forgetting to do is click save over here on that file. So I've saved that file. Now we'll go down to the next one. And now it says I need a modal which I have here. And this time it didn't pick up where the modal is. And I believe if you click this, it doesn't have a rollover to tell you what that is. Right. So now it's saying apply it to the current file modal JS. Yes. Continue. And I'm going to click accept, save that file, go down to the next one. And it wants to do a list and it didn't ask for that last time. And let's just do the API routes, apply, Sh should switch to the correct right route, which it did. I'm going to click accept, save, go down to the next one, apply. It's changed it to the right file, the upload image route, accept, save. And then it's just saying I need a post JSON file with an empty array. And then I need a public images folder, right? I've already done that. Inside of public images, there is actually some files in there that I've already played around with. Uh, so part of the part of all, all, all I'm making is a title, a date, and then a file. And then it gives you an 
input for the file to upload it, but all you're really doing it is moving it into this folder. This is only going to work when you're running locally. It won't work when you're out on the actual internet. So with any luck, it might work, but I think down here it's saying I can't find the postmodal because it named it differently than I did. It's going to be in this file at the top. All right, it should just be modal. And I probably need to change that on something. And it's going to be down here. And we're still getting something post lists. All right, it does want to post lists. Didn't do that last time. And it wants to be, wants that to file to be inside this here. And we'll save that. It's compiling down here. Maybe it's going to work. All right, now we have our post manager. So I didn't do anything. Let's see if it works. Got a date at the top, title, test post, choose a file, click save, refresh the page to make sure it actually worked. All right. That worked. And now if you go back and look, you should see the JSON file, it's creating this. So now if I add another one, and you can see it's added another object to this array of objects. And you can see it edited the, ob the array. It edited this object in that array. I think that's pretty cool. I also, it should be, I should have deleted the other images out of here. If you look over here, when I click delete, oops, you should see it's gonna delete one of these out of here. Yep, delete that one, and there you go.